My Immortal, Chapter 22, Author's Note. Stafu, perhaps stop flaming, okay? If you do not, then... If you do not lick it, then... <laughs> off. I know it's Mr. Norris, it's Raven f Raven's Fault, okay? One, one. Usuk, one. No, just kidding. Raven, you... <laughs> going... Rock, prep, suk, one. All day everyone talked about the misery of magic. Well, anyway, I woke up the next day. I was in my coffin, so I opened the door. I was wearing black lacy leather pajamas. Then I gasped. Standing in front of me were... P. Bloody Mary. Vampire. Diabolo. Draco. Dracula and Willow. I opened my crimson eyes. Willow was wearing a tight black leather top with pictures of bloody roses all over it. Under that, she wore a black puffy skirt with lace on it and black gothic boots that was attached to the top. A vampire was wearing a baggy simple plain t-shirt and baggy black pants and vans. Draco was wearing a black MCR t-shirt and black jeans and a, black and a leather jacket. He looked just like Gerard Way and almost as fucking sexy. Vampire looked like Joel Madden. P. Apostrophe Lottie Mary was wearing a tight black puffy gothic dress that she had ripped so it showed of all her cl clearage with a white apron that said Bick and other swear words and MCL lyrics on it kind of like the one one dress I'd seen Amy Lee wear once. Got Darkness, who was Jenny, was there too. She was wearing a ri ripped gothic black dress with ripped stuff all over it and a lace-up top thing and black pointy boots. So a crab and goyle. It turns out that Darkness, Diabolo, crab and goyle's dad was a vampire. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists with a razor. He had raped them and stuff before too. They all got so depressed that they became gothic and committed to stanism. OMFG, I yielded as I jumped up. Why the fuck are you still here? Enemy, something is really fucked up, Draco said. Okay, but I need to I need to put my fucking clothes on first, I shouted angrily. It's all right. We have to go now and you look kawaii anyway. You're so fucking beautiful, Draco said in a sexy voice. Oh, all right, I said smiling. But you have to tell me why you're being all erective. I will, I will, he said. So I just put on some black eyeliner, black lipstick, and red eye shadow and white foundation. Then I came. We all went outside the great hall and looked in from a widow. A fucking prep called Brittany from Gryffindor was standing next to us. She was wearing a pink mini and a Hillary Duff t-shirt, so we put up our middle, middle fingers at her. Inside the great hall we could see one double dork. Cornelia Fudge was there shouting at double door. <laughs> Doris Wombridge was there too. This cannot be, she shouted angrily. The school must be closed. The Park Lord is planning to kill the students. Oh, Cornelia, <laughs> Cornelia Fudge. You are not fit to be the principal any longer, yelled Wombridge. You are too old and your Alzheimer's is dangerous. You must retry or Voldemort will kill your students. Very well, Dumbledore said angrily. But we cannot do this. We can't close the stall. There is only one person who is capable of killing Voldemort, and she is in the school. And her name is Enony Dark Apotrophy Ness Dementia Ravenway. Draco, Crab, Goyle, Darkness, Willow, Vampire, and B. Apotrophy Lady Mary looked at each other. I gasped.